Hi everyone, I'm Megan Lamp, and this is The Quick Pause. This is a project designed to explore the value in quick micro pauses throughout the day. Stopping for a few minutes throughout the day is a practice that I have been utilizing for several years, and it has really been game changing for me. And I thought it would be fun to collaborate with some friends and see what we experience when we pause together for four or five or six minutes. And today, I am so pleased to be joined by my friend, Dr. Jamila owens Todd. Hi, Jamila. Hello. Hi. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited. I love this project, by the way. It's so cool. <laughs> well, thanks for being with us. Can you tell us about yourself? Yeah. So I am Jamila owens Todd. I'm a naturopathic doctor. I've been in practice since 2007. Um, shared the wonderful space. Uh, with Megan Limp. As of now, mostly it's all virtual and Zoom. Um, I also have a tea company, a root berry leaf, where it's my passion turned into a business. I love blending teas, herbal blends, and for your consumption to, to, to enjoy. Um, also became, uh, recently became the owner of Golden Grocer, which is in the Central West End uh, natural health market. Wow, congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. That's exciting. Um, I'm so pleased to be joining with you to get together, uh, not just because we haven't seen each other in a while, but because um, you have been an inspiration to me when it comes to being intentional and mindful in my life. And I am so happy to be with you today. And thank you for leading us through today's quick pause. Wow, thank you. That means a lot coming from Megan. I, I, one of the things I love about Megan is that she's just a woman of grace kind of like a Jackie O. Grace, so I love that about you. <laughs> um, and you know, when you reached out to me about this, I, I, I kind of toyed around with different things. I'm like, you know, I don't do like a physical practice, so to speak. I don't necessarily do guided meditations, um, but I do like to speak to people about the root and the healing and that core existence and how that is really where healing starts. So when I think about pausing, I do think about uh, with every, Thing that's going on is just being able to be in your truth and what that means in my world is honoring your experiences um, we've had a lot of kind of upending of the world so to speak or it can appear that way and we all experience that so differently even your closest loved ones colleagues will give insights and tidbits on this is what can work and that's one of the benefits of a program like this is to say, here are just some suggestions in the event you run out of ideas or you just want a little bit of a push. Um, but I, I think about your experience and your experience is valid. It's yours, it's truthful, it's your truth. And in the age of social media and so much that's being presented to us, there are times when we are attempting to justify our truth and that can, almost appear to invalidate it in some degree. So what I experience is my experience. I don't think there should be a judgment placed upon it. Um, how we navigate the space of COVID has been, um, <laughs> it's been very individual. Yes, collectively we think about masks and how that is not about us, it's about the other people. We think about social distancing. Again, I think about it not about me, but about someone else and my potential to harm them. And so if I am being told to stay home and I'm being told to not visit my very lovely sister because she's ill and she's immunocompromised, I had to think a moment and, and not take on her um, fear and assume that I should be acting in a certain way. So really listening to her. And that made me sit in my experience and knowing that I have to deal with this in the way that I know how. No judgment of her. She made the best decision for her. And now I have to val value her experience and what it may look like for her to be hearing all of the reports of an immunocompromised person. So even though I wanted to trot over there and give her a surprise, you know, muffins, I had to not and then be okay with that by respecting her. Uh, the world has also been upended with, with recent discoveries, I'll say, of just uh, racist behavior and just uh, unjust behaviors. Uh, people of color, Black people specifically. 
and I get calls on, you know, the guilt or I'm ashamed and I should be protesting, I should be donating. And you never want to give out of what is a perceived need. You sometimes the mere acknowledgement is protest. The mere consideration of I have to reconsider who I am, my thoughts, my actions, my community is enough. And if you only have the wherewithal to make it to that point in this month, please honor yourself in that and be okay with it. I, I, I have a love-hate relationship with social media as, as I've talked about earlier with Megan. It's, yeah, it's needed, it kind of, you know, helps with business. However, um, the unrelenting judgments and to-do list and shoulds and coulds, it, it's just to be ridiculous. And if unfortunately we use that as a barometer on how we're supposed to be great citizens, we've failed already. So I think the experience that you have is yours. The best thing that you can do is pause to appreciate it, pause to value it and know that it doesn't need a like, a tick, a pat on the back. We don't need those external measures of approval to know that I'm in not an okay place or I am okay. You know what? I sat on my balcony. I had tea today. I can celebrate that. You can celebrate the moments that are yours because that's why we're here. Um, you can celebrate the good things, but you can also be very articulate and express that things can be difficult. And it's not, a, there's no need, I would say, to compare um, what your life could be with someone else's. It's just, again, your experiences, your truth, it is valid. It is therapeutic to honor it. Um, being kind to yourself, I think is very important when considering what your experiences are and know that you have every tool in your body to heal you, to promote wellness and to help catapult you into the next phase of life. Um, I only know that because I really do try to take the time to explore it and believe it. You know, it's like you keep telling yourself eventually you'll, you'll believe it, you know. <laughs> but I do, I do want that for everyone. I do want for everyone just to know that I can be in my space in my world and be okay and not have to connect in the way that I am being told to. Um, that to me is the best medicine, the best honoring of self. Well, thank you so much. That is so beautiful. I can't, um, I feel different and um, recalibrated from what you just said. And I can't imagine something better for us to walk away with right now today than knowing that our experience and everybody else's experience is valid just as it is. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Thank you. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. This is fun. This is like a wild party for me. So <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate